Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Beyond. I'm at the Penal Colony, BV2259. Now, this Penal Colony is different to all the other in-game bases that we visited. It's in the HIP-16217 system and on planet AB1A uh, with minus 54.99 and 30 give or take of the coordinates. Now you land and the penal colony is based in a canyon which gives off that lovely green sort of mist and fog dynamic that Frontier have been using to death in release too. Now all the logs so far have spoken about it getting really 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 cold and you know that might be a tip off to as to where the Thargoid homeworld may be. Is it going to be far away from a sun therefore it's going to be cold? Is it going to be on an ice planet? We're all assuming that it's going to be on planets with ammonia. Why not an ice planet? I don't know, I'm just saying. This fantastic penal colony, in my opinion, is armoured. It's got nice high walls. It's got guns. It's got central control structures. It's got two data ports and four com ports where you can get the logs. Absolutely brilliant. You know, there's a bit of animation on the turrets that we've seen on other models, but the entire aspect of it being, you know, a prison-like structure with the high walls, and even that got attacked, even though it's got armaments, is a good aspect as far as I'm concerned. So the design, pretty good. Lots of things to trundle around with in your SRV. The location in the middle of that crater lends itself well to the environment, and you're able to land on that landing pad. Although, you are going to have to look out for those turrets at some stage. I'm not going to spoil it for everybody, but I really would encourage people, more so this site than the other sites, to get yourself over to this system, right? HIP 16217 and visit this because, you know, it's a little bit of a break from the norm. And like I say, it is, it is a nice thing to trundle around and see. No rush, but if you feel you're in the mood and you want to do it, then hey, why not? So, we're going to play the logs. The logs tell the story of the superintendent, okay, the warden, so to speak, of the prison facility, and tells of what happened. I mean, it's no big surprise you're a spoiler that the Thargoids turned up at some stage of the game, right? Hence the green mist. But let's play the logs, have a look around the base, and we'll pick it up at the end. Running this facility wasn't challenging enough. Now we're having problems with transit. I suppose that's what we get for using private contractors instead of official transport. The pilot gave some cockamamie story about being intercepted by an unidentified ship. Apparently it looks alien and closed down its systems. Left him stranded for a while. <sighs> Whatever. I wasn't in the mood to listen to some void, crazy pilots inane wittering. All I know is by the time he got here, the prisoners were ready to riot. I've sent a strongly worded memo to the authorities demanding we use union-approved contractors from now on. We have an emergency situation. At first, I thought there'd been a breakout. I couldn't have been more wrong. They jumped in right on top of us. The proximity relays didn't catch a thing. It was just two ships, but they shut down our defenses before we even had a chance to get them online. Then they hit the facility with some kind of pulse. Life support is still functional, but all other systems are fried. Luckily, the wardens had the presence of mind to initiate manual lockdown on all cell blocks, so the prisoners remain contained. Unfortunately, I'm sealed inside the command center. I've sent a mayday signal and I tried hailing whoever attacked us, but so far, no luck. We'll just have to wait this out and hope for the best. Someone has to come soon. 
We lost contact with Central two days ago. Surely the alarm will have been raised by now. I'm trying to jury-rig the surveillance system so we can see what's going on in the rest of the facility, but the temperature's dropping by the hour. Sure as hell isn't making the job any easier. The life support readings say everything's fine. So why is it so cold in here? There's gotta be at least 20 below in here. My hands are numb. Gotta be honest. I've had better days. I've got the surveillance system working again. Looking at the monitors now. Prisoners, wardens. Every last one of them's gone. Whatever shut the, the facility down must have taken them. But why? And why did they drop the temperature? I don't know. But I do know. I'm freezing to death. Can't decide what's worse. Slowly dying in this ice cube. Or being taken by whatever it is out there. I guess I don't have much of a choice. Now, this video has been featuring new music from Miguel Johnson, uh, titled The Explorers, and it's a pack that you can add in to Elite Dangerous to change the music and give you a bit of variation of a theme. Miguel is a great supporter of this site and this community that we've built around Ricardo's Gaming, and it's an avid member as well on the Discord server, which I'd all encourage you to have a look at and, and get involved with. Not only that, we're also on Facebook as well. Now, if you like what you're seeing, and I hope you do, then please hit the like and subscribe button. Also look for notifications and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos like this on YouTube. So what did you think about the new bases to go and visit? Are the logs okay? You might have seen my video, I'm having a bit of a grumble, a bit of a moan about how things are sort of like left a little bit unfinished how much better it would have been with a bit more depth. I mean, this base by far, so far out of the, out of the 10, this is the seventh one I've visited, and this is by far, I think, perhaps the most spooky and more engaging, as opposed to the other settlements that seem to be just cut and pasted to other areas on the map. For me, you know, there's no materials to pick up, but that's in play with what it would be if it was a penal colony. Um, you're not going to have, you know, precious materials lying around. You would have scrap, though, let's face it. Um, and, and there is a bit of a surprise for you waiting at the end, which I didn't quite expect. But I'm not going to let that go, because that's a major spoiler. So get yourself over, over here and find out for yourselves. The modular and connected tunnels of this base all lead, I think, to it being a penal colony, where you're not encouraging people to go outside anyway, because... You know, it's an inhabited moon. Um, there's no atmosphere. So all these tunnels connecting the pods up are there to, I suppose, encourage the inmates to walk around. So a good bit of design there. What I found was a bit strange as well, mind, is that there is a power generator here. There it is. You can see it directly on the screen. Now, from what I can tell, and a good old poke around this, you're not able to interact with it. Which is a shame, because you're able to interact with every other power generator on every other base that you get to. You know, there's, there's no way of shutting down defences or bringing out the skimmers. Which proves another point as well. Where are the skimmers in all this? So the Thug was attacked, I would have thought they would have, they would have mustered everything, you know, in, in trying to stave off that attack. There's no wreckage of skimmers or anything. So, in my opinion, a little bit, you know, half-arsed. But... I suppose that's what we've got to get used to these days. Scan those modules, you're going to get data. And if that's the sort of data you need, then keep on going back. Although you might find that a little bit of a challenge. Say no more. Say no more. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Ricardo, and this has been Elite Dangerous Beyond Chapter 2. This has been the Penal Colony BV2259. 
look out for those turrets. It's in the HIP-16217 system and on planet AB1A. All this will be in the details of this video. Like I said, please like and subscribe, join the Discord, look us up on Facebook, Ricardo's Gaming Channel, and look out for more videos in this series. I'm going to leave you with a little bit more music now by Miguel Johnson from his new album, and fly safe, and I'll see you soon.